Joe Burrow says that uh, you were one of his favorite players uh, as he was growing up. Loved watching you play offense as well. Uh, what do you think of his game, and uh, especially for somebody who's just in his second year? Mm -hmm. in yeah, I think that's probably the thing that's most impressive. Um, you know, coming back off the injuries, obviously, you know, he worked extremely hard. Um, you know, just got a really good feel for, for making all the throws. Uh, very elusive, you know, in the pocket. Um, I would say good play, play strength. He take care, takes care of the football. Um, you know, they, they do a lot with him. He's, he's operating there from the line of scrimmage sometimes. He's getting him into the right call. Um, you know, it's going to be a huge challenge. With all the injuries that you guys have been through this year, and now you got guys coming back, how much has that kind of built trustworthy depth that you won't be able to put a guy in to a big game like this that maybe you didn't know about two months ago? Well, I mean, I think we've had, um, you know, the number of people that we've had to play is, is kind of is what it is. And so um, I think that helps you build competition, you know, and also, like you mentioned, it builds depth. Um, everybody, you know, has to be ready to play. And uh, I, I hope that we've tried to pound home that message with them so that they understand that, you know, things could happen all the way up until game time. And then obviously the 48 players that we take to the game uh, are going to have multiple roles. Some guys may have to go in there and, and, and play another position. Um, so I think that that has been, you know, positive that guys have been able to go in there and, and they help us win. Having a coach, DJ Reader, in fact, he said that you were one of those coaches that he will run through a wall through. When you, uh, for, uh, when you. That'd be a big wall. <laughs> <laughs> when you watch him, just in how that run defense revolves mm -hmm. around him, why is he so critical to. Well, to I mean, I, I've always. You know, we had a really good relationship with, with DJ. Um, he really understands technique, pad level, um, being able to, to sink his hips. And, and whether he's playing a, a zero technique, a, a three, a shade, you know, he really understands how to play all those different techniques. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, he embraces his role uh, as, as a very elite run defender. And it'll be critical for you know for us to you know to be able to try to to neutralize him and, and try to run the ball. Did you recruit Hubbard to Ohio State? And if, if that is true, if I do remember that correctly, what do you remember about him then? And and what do you think about the success he's had? Yeah, I mean, he was a was a late bloomer. Played lacrosse. Um, you know, we started recruiting him. You know, I think late. You know, like a lot of people, big, athletic, uh, smart. You know, instinctive, and I think he's really continued to, to grow and develop, you know, as a football player. And so you saw that Ohio State, you're seeing that now. He, he rushes, they drop him, he bats balls down at the line of scrimmage. Very productive player and, you know, athletic, very good size. Get to this point of the year and the competition increases the way it does, does the margin of error go down at the number of mistakes you can get away with? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think just the, how critical each and every play is, our focus in, in each and every play, uh, that we're involved uh, in every play. And that, um, you know, just trying to reference, you know, the game that the, the, the Bengals had last week. The Raiders were, you know, were second and one, um, had a false start, made it second and six, made it, uh, you know, or second and 10, fall start, and second and 15, made it third and seven, and then ends up with a strip sack. So um, that led to a touchdown. And just how critical each penalty is, each decision that we make, each uh, punt that we go to catch, and, and everything, just the focus that we have to have on each and every play. Like how much emphasis do you put on, or just going back and looking at last year's game with the Bengals? Oh, God. There's enough to make you puke. I mean, we could watch it. Um, but it wasn't very good. I mean, we just, you know, we have to be better in all three phases. And but, but I think you look at it. I mean, you have to watch conceptually. I think it's, um, you know, there's some similarities. You know, things that we'll have to do much, much better. When you look at the growth defensively here since then. Do you feel like that's more personnel or scheme? 
Well, I mean, I think scheme sometimes gets overrated. I think I've been through this before. Um, the beautiful thing about coaching is that there's going to be a bunch of different schemes, a bunch of different ways to run the football, throw it, coverage, pressure. Uh, and what the, the job is of a coach is to get the players to believe in, in the scheme that, that you have and, and try to put guys in the right spots. But at the end of the day, um, it, you know, it comes down to the players going out and executing. So that will always be the answer uh, is that you know, whatever success we have here uh, will always come back to the, to the players. It's kind of been, it's some weeks just about want to see certain things out of Derek along the way. How have you liked what you've seen from him? And would you say things are trending that you'll have, that you'll have him be available? or is that we'll, we'll be in pads today. I think that's a good step. We'll have to have some contact. It's, it's been a while, um, you know, since he's had, you know, contact. You know, we're going to have to do these things that, that will come close to, to replicating uh, what's going to be asked of him in a football game. So, you know, again, we, we'll have a week of work, and we'll see how he feels and make a decision. How has he responded from the previous work that, that you, you've given him? Well, fine. You have to keep an eye out maybe early in the game for guys who are a little too amped up and, and try to draw Yeah, we talked down. about that today, just being ready at um, 3.30. You know, trying to build some momentum here with some really good practices and preparation and and not being, you know, over that line before the game, you know, trying to use everything that we have mentally and physically uh, at 3.30. You're playing a team coming off their first playoff win in three decades, and you guys have three straight years. How much does that playoff experience? I don't, I, you know, I, don't, I think playing good football, you know, I think you know, we've got some guys that have played in playoff games and, and won playoff games and, what it really comes down to is, is executing and being able to, to maintain focus um, throughout the game. You know, I think that you know, that game last week that they had came down to a, to a goal line stand. They, they really stayed focused, looked like the, the Bengals played each and every play, um, and, and then were able to finish, finish the game off. So, you know, I think that experience is, is great, but at, at the end of the day, we're going to have to just really um, execute um, Focus and, and and not do things that that hurt us. Do you sense the greater that, sense of motivation coming off of last year's playoff loss? That, that just kind of <laughs> I think that there's just motivation to to prepare and win. And you know, if somehow last year, I you know, I it's hard to remember what we did last week for me, as opposed to what we did last year. So, you know, we'll we'll have to um, understand how how critical. Getting off to a good start is making adjustments, um, converting, you know, being good in, in special teams, and just everything that comes down to winning football games in January. Mike, what are some you, of the you, things that uh, went? you've talked a lot about how valuable Brian has been this season? But considering you know the fact that Derek Smith's nine games, AJ and Julio been in and out of the lineup, uh, is maybe the win total for him maybe the biggest? Uh, best indicator of his production this year? I hope that's the best indicator for all of us. I, mean, I think that's the only reason that why we're here. And, you know, Ryan's had to do things to, to help us win. And, uh, you know, he's, he's done that. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to need everybody's best effort this week. What are some of the things that he's done of late that's made him, I guess, less likely to turn the ball over? He's, you know, he went through that little stretch where – he had protection issues, and he had put the ball in harm's way a few times, but he's really cut back on that the last three or four games. Um, you know, I think it's just been a group effort. You know, it's probably been a group effort. Clean pockets, you know, good routes lead to, you know, production in the passing game, uh, making good decisions, you know, reserving the right to, to punt on third down. You know, all those things um, lead to decreased turnovers. Receivers or somebody like that with a game that starts in sunlight and ends after the sun has gone down along the way. Um, you know, sometimes they turn the lights on earlier, right? I'm sure the lights will probably be on close to the time that we kick off. I, you know, I don't really know. We ask them to go out and um, try to you know, figure out, you know, what the field conditions are, what the weather looks like, what the wind looks like. Uh, sun, I mean, we've had that 
you know, sometimes earlier in the season when you know, may be catching a punt or going in a certain direction. Um, you know, sometimes in, a, in an open domed stadium, you know, the light changes. I'm not really sure. Tory Carter give you the run game when he's out there? Well, Tory's been physical for us. He's played on special teams. Um, you know, so we'll evaluate how he's doing this week and, you know, see where he goes. Tape on Jamar Chase, what do you see in this season? Well, just, you know, big, athletic, fast, great body control, good after the catch, strong hands. You know, just very talented. Christian Fulton played with him back to high school. When, when somebody has that kind of familiarity, can it help when they're at this so. level? <laughs> That's it. That's all I got, I hope.